Hello, this is Chucky from C. Delano Photography, and last week we sharpened some of our iPhone pictures using some super resolution techniques as well as some sharpening apps. Now this week I want to highlight one of those sharpening apps, and that is Topaz Studios Sharpen AI. Now I have three different photos here which are going to show off the power of Topaz Sharpen AI. <laughs> first one, if you look at this, I absolutely love the lighting, but we did not get the focus in very well. And let's zoom in and you can see that this photo is just out of focus. But we can save this photo with this app. The next one I want to show you is one that was a little bit soft and there's some grain in there because I was using a D300S with a 12 megapixel sensor. And of course now we have much more powerful cameras. And so I'm gonna sharpen this photo up as well. And the last one is from the 70th anniversary of D-Day. This looks like a great photo, but when you zoom in up to the plane, you see that it's just a tad bit soft. And when we come over to the actual building, you can see that because of the panning that I was using, the building was a little bit out of focus through the stabilize. So I'm going to show you how to fix all three of those different types of photos with Topaz Sharpen AI. Let's take a look at the first photo that was out of focus. I'm going to open that photo, which is on my desktop. Select open. Now each time that it does a preview, it's going to automatically go through the processing. So uh, if you don't want to do that, you can turn this off as soon as it processes the first time. Now, as you can see right here, it's done an amazing job. So I'm going to zoom in 200% so that you can see this a little bit better right here. And then I'm going to go to the focus because that's actually what we want. I'm going to leave it in the defaults 50-50, but I'm going to add just a little bit of grain here and then update the preview. As you can see here, it brought back all this focus and it has done an amazing job. Let's scan this over. Now, some of this I would have to put two different photos, one uh, on top and one of the one that's out of focus in Photoshop and kind of clean these up uh, because these look a little bit unnatural. But if you see here right there were uh, the unshaven part right here and the pores and the eyes, it's just amazing how sharp this thing is. So now I'm going to close this out and go to our next project. Now let's take a look at this one. As we can see right here, it is amazing how much detail it's getting back in the lips. I'm going to bring this up to 200%. And then I'm going to update the preview after I move this. Let's take a look here. It's a little soft right there, and then right here you can see that it's brought some of that detail back in. And then as I scroll to the left with this, look at how much of this color noise it brings back or cleans up. It is just absolutely amazing. I just absolutely love this thing. That was the sharpen process mode. Once again, this is on the default. The last one I'm going to show you is going to use the stabilized processing mode, and that is one that you use when something is out of focus because you moved. Now let's take a look and see how it's done. Look at that. That is soft right in here. And then as we bring it across, it is absolutely sharp. And we still have the blur of the props right there. And it is absolutely amazing. I'm going to move this on over to the building now. Put that one in the center. And I'm going to remove a little bit more blur, uh, add a little bit of grain. And then I'm going to update the preview setting here. Now let's just take a look at this building. It is just absolutely amazing that it brought back all this stuff into focus. And what I would do is I would bring this into Photoshop and clean up a little bit of this stuff, but it's absolutely amazing all the detail that it's brought back 
based on the artificial intelligence. So I've showed you three different types of photos. One was out of focus, one was just a little bit soft and needed to be sharpened, and the last one was actually due to movement of the camera. And Sharpen AI has done a wonderful job in all three different categories. I am not an affiliate. Uh, there is one caveat to this software. Right now it only works on JPEGs. They are working on a raw converter for this, and they said that that is uh, coming I'm not sure exactly when, but for right now you can use this on JPEG and it does a great job at this. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up or a like if you like this video. And once again, I'll see you in my next video.